Hello everybody, and this is my weekly pickup video. Um, it's going to be a, a today, and I'm going to have one on Sunday because we've been having power outages here due to the storm that came in. Uh, we were uh, without power for a couple days, so um, I didn't get to do it on Sunday. So now I'm just going to do my pickup videos now, and like I said, I'll have one up on Sunday. Uh, first thing I picked up was a double DVD pack of Camp Nowhere and Baby Secret of the Lost Legend. I remember watching both of them as a child, and I just wanted to rewatch it. And for three ninety nine for two movies, I can't complain. Uh, next one, they were having a special on some blue, uh, two, uh, a couple of Blu-rays at Walmart, so I picked them up. Machete for five bucks. Uh, Terminator, also. Um, also have the other version of this. I'm going to get rid of it and keep this one. Apparently, this is the remastered, better version. So, yeah. Next one I picked up from the dollar store was Circle of Pain. No, nothing about that one. Uh, Whisper. Heard it was a pretty good movie from one of my friends, so I had to pick it up. Next one was Red Hill. Know nothing about this. Looks like a Mad Max type deal on the back with the guy dressed up like that. And since I had the other two, I said might as well pick up this one and get it over with. It's the two disc Blu-ray DVD combo of Pirates of the Caribbean Tree at World's End. Uh, also picked up some more memorabilia from the dollar store. Uh, remember those little uh, go-karts I got? Well, I had to pick up some more. Uh... This, these are different ones, they're in like actual packages, and they had two different characters from the other ones, so I had to pick them up. First one is Toad. They're a little bit smaller than the other ones. Uh, Luigi. They were at the dollar Dollarama, so here up, up, up here in Canada, so Mario, a Mario, and Donkey Kong was the different one, and Yoshi. These are the five that came in the series, so I was happy to get those. And then I picked up some handheld games, uh, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. Uh, didn't look too good when I after I ordered it, but I ordered it. I think it was two dollars online, so I had to pick it up. I had to get it. Uh, this one here I found in all places. Games though started bringing out box games uh, for the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance and Color, so I picked up. A couple for now and the first one is Mortal Kombat 2 it's just the box in the game the game's in awesome shape um, if you see that in the back uh, graphics are nothing compared to your systems but yeah I just picked it up because it was Mortal Kombat and it was really cheap and so with this one it's Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas The Pumpkin King also have this one but I like the hologram on the cover it's a little bit beat up smushed a little bit but for five bucks, I couldn't complain. It was complete with its manual and everything. Like I already had the game. I didn't have it complete, so now I have a complete. I have a complete copy. So I will probably be. That brings up another thing. If people want to see me do a trades video, I do have some games that I want to trade off. I want them to go to good home. So uh, if anybody's interested in seeing a trades video, please let me know, and I will have one up probably within the next two weeks. Uh, just games I want to trade off to people. Um, so yeah, let me know. Uh, next one is Dino Wars, The Destruction of Spotalize, or however you want to pronounce it. Uh, got that for cheap. Solstice, another cheap game. These were all under three, uh, $3. And Dragon Power. This is, this is Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball, sorry. First game ever made was made on Nintendo. Uh, if you play through it, you see all the characters. They're, they show that they're uh, from uh, the Dragon Ball series. Picked up another Dreamcast game, has some stickers onto it. Um, Expendable. No nothing about this one. Uh, then got some more PlayStation 2 games starting to uh, climb over to 500 in my PlayStation 2 collection. So, like I said, my goal is probably to finish off that and then go on to a next another one. Next one is Tack and the Power of the Juju. Didn't have this in my collection. Uh, I think I believe that I paid a dollar a piece for these. Rune, Viking Warlord. Uh, looks like a pretty good action action adventure game like uh, God of War, but with my luck, it's probably not. 
Aqua Aqua, the addictive fast action treaty puzzler. Um, I noticed. Well, uh, I do have the Mortal Kombat collection, but I wanted to get the game separately and keep my collection sealed up. So I picked up Mortal Kombat Deception. You see Onaga on the cover. This one also had Mortal Kombat Chest into it. Uh, the Powerpuff Girls Relish Rampage. Um, looks like a fun little platformer. Uh, Project Eden, or Aiden. Uh, Mad Men, Confession of the Family Blood. I didn't even know this game existed. I seen it. I had to pick it up. Like I said, they were a dollar a piece, so. Uh, 13. I paid five bucks for this one. Didn't have it in my collection. I thought I did, but after I went through my collection, it is complete. Well, all these games are complete. And Alter Echo. I picked it up just mostly for the case. I do own the game already. Uh, this ain't complete. It was a dollar. GameZilla sells that game for a dollar. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, that's my second copy of it. And, like I said, I just bought it mostly for the case. Uh, so, yeah, that's my pickups for this. Well, what was supposed to be Sunday. Um, I will have another one up next sun this Sunday coming. Uh, so, stay tuned for that. Uh, please comment on the trades video. Like I said, if you was, uh, would be interested in seeing one of those, please let me know. Uh, remember to keep gaming, keep collecting, and check out your local Walmart. There's lots of great deals right now uh, for uh, Blu-rays and no video games, sadly. So, you all take her easy, and I'll catch you later.